I'm Hayley Kay and welcome to another G-Vlog for Blackpool's Grand Theatre. Now, as part of their 125th anniversary celebrations, the Grand has launched its own production company and their opening production is Around the World in 80s Days. So, I'm joined now by the writer and the director, <laughs> Ian McFarlane. So, Ian, yes. just talk to us a little bit about the concept. Well, the, the Grand most years have been doing a, um, a summer variety show or a, a music tribute kind of show and this is the first time that they are producing in-house which is really exciting and they wanted to sort of take the idea of what they've been doing in previous years and, and step it up a gear so it's it's still a show with music that the audience will recognize you know it's all 80s tunes but instead of it just being a concert or a cabaret, it's an actual musical. So there's a story and there are characters singing songs. So it's a brilliant story, mm. lots of different ways to adapt it. Did you have to sort of hold off from going completely mad with it? Because there's, there's <laughs> so many different ways you can take it. Well, it, it's, it's a story that's been adapted, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of times. And the great thing about that is it, it's sort of in the public consciousness. So. Most people think they know the story, but really we tend to only know the beginning and the end, which is this gentleman in the Victorian era, Phileas Fogg, decides that he's going to accept a bet to go around the world in 80 days. And he has an adventure, he falls in love, he wins the bet, the end. And that's sort of really what people know. And each version, um, they, they sort of invent the, the middle adventure section. I mean, there's a, there's a Disney version, there's a car. The one that I watched as a child is the... Um, Around the World in 80 Days with Willy Fogg. I don't know if you remember that yeah. one. Where he was a lion yeah, and they were yeah. all animals. I love that. Um, and there is the really famous David Niven film as well. So you sort of got license to to be quite creative in that middle section anyway. And we are putting 80 songs in it. So, I mean, it's quite out there already. I love it. But what about the audience? Who do you think is going to love to, th who's going to, love to come and see the show? Well, I think it's going to work for, for lots of different groups. Uh, if you love the 80 songs, then, then you're really going to have a great time because you're going to know all the music. But the way that we are using the songs, because we're using them in the plot, you don't need to know the songs beforehand. So you could come and, and watch it like you would any other musical comedy. Um, I, you know, if you if you like to laugh and you like to have a really good time, then you're going to enjoy it because it is a proper, proper feel good musical comedy that um, is, you know, it's just pure escapism and joy. So how do the 80s work then as part of a show? Am I asking too many, am I asking too many tricky no, questions? How it, do they uh, work as part of the show? I'm you fascinated. Know, it, <laughs> it works so brilliantly. The, the original conversation I had with, with Ruth here at the theatre was uh, about a rock and roll show. And so... First and foremost, I, I put together a, a, a sort of proposal for what it would look like if it was rock and roll music. And then I, we sat down for a production meeting and Ruth said, would it be a lot of work to change the music entirely? And I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and actually Ruth suggested, you know, could it be 80s? And I totally want to claim that idea for myself, but I actually <laughs> have to let Ruth have that one. Um, it, it works really, really well because the, the aesthetic of the 80s, with the sort of the big shoulders and the big hair, there's something slightly Victorian about some of the of the fashion because the big puffy sleeves and the really sort of cinched in waists. So it that, wasn't it, a good era for fashion. Oh, do you not think? Mm. Oh, I think the 80s okay, fashion is quite it, brilliant. It wasn't a good era for taste. <laughs> maybe I don't, I don't oh, know. Oh, I think I think it was quite. I uh, think I was sent to a school disco in luminous colours, so that <laughs> tells you everything you need to know you about the 80s. You chose to go in those luminous colours. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, the, the songs, the songs are used in two ways. Sometimes um, we are taking the song as as you would know it, um, and uh, and sort of presenting it as as you would expect. And then sometimes some of them we sort of we twist around and sort of turn them on their head. We, I, I'm conscious that the the audience. If you're coming specifically for the 80s songs, then you don't want to leave disappointed. So my job is to make sure that you, you get to hear the song as you know it. But sometimes it might start off slightly differently. 
so sometimes, you know, we are using them in, in really silly ways and it's really funny to watch these characters um, dressed and it's sort of like pseudo Victorian. They are part Victorian, part 80, steampunk, if that means anything. I love it. Um, and, um, you know, you might be in a, in a Victorian suit with some Converse or you might be in a uh, Victorian dress with really big hair and leg warmers just sort of poking out from the dress. So there's sort of a, a little crossover. And then, you know, to see, to see these guys dressed as English gentlemen singing Let's Hear It For The Boy um, nice. is really funny. <laughs> okay. Now, you just mentioned Let's Hear It For The Boy, but more specifically, what big 80s hits can we expect to hear? My gosh, there are loads. More than you can shake a stick at, Hayley. There are, there are loads and loads, and all, all the famous ones. So, uh, Come On Eileen, uh, Eye of the Tiger, uh, I know. I want to know what love is. Oh. Don't you want me, baby? Uh, take on me, aha! And then really silly ones like um, "Let's Get Physical," the Elvin Newton John song. Nice. Um, uh, love Shack, which I think is my favourite '80s song. Power of Love, the song from what's the film? Back to the Future. Yeah, yeah. Loads and loads and loads of them. God, like you said, there's absolutely loads. Oh like, yeah, there are loads. <laughs> what was it that made you want to get involved then in in this production? Well, new work is really, really exciting. I mean, that sounds quite uh, directory, but uh, new work is really exciting. To, to, to get to create something from scratch and, and be in the room with actors creating it for the first time. Because, you know, the, this isn't a show. Yes, the story has been adapted lots and lots of times, but the, the dialogue that these, these characters are saying in this version, it's not been said by anybody else. No, no other actor has done it before and it's not, been, it's not been staged before. So it's a really exciting process to be part of, to be in the room with the actors creating it from the first time, for the first time. Okay, well, this is my last question then. Uh, if we th try and put yourself into the future a little bit and the show is open mm -hmm. and the curtain comes down, the audience are getting the coats on, they're leaving, how do you sort of want them to feel or how, how, what do you want them to be thinking when the show is well, over? I I mean, I'd quite like your, your face to be slightly sore from laughing and smiling so much. Good, <laughs> and, uh, good. And, just, and just joy, because it, as I said earlier on, it's, it's going to be a proper, proper musical comedy. It's not, it's not just a song and a couple of lines and a song and a couple of lines. You know, the, the plot and the comedy is really important. It, it's going to be really, really funny. So it should just be joy. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Thank you very much for chatting with <laughs> Thank us today. You. And it sounds just so exciting. I cannot wait to see it. If you want to get tickets, head over to our website. It's blackpoolgrand.co.uk or you can call the box office on 01253 290 190. I've been Hayley Kay for G Vlog.